Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you my setup for February using Coco Daisy's denim and blush. And today I'm going to be using this Carpe Diem planner cover, which is super cute. It's a nice pretty pink and it's already got a pocket in the back. That's a pocket from a Simply Gilded kit from a while back that I had already put in there, so I just left it. And it's this really pretty pink and it kind of matches some of the pinks that are in the kit. Um, if I had had a blue one, I probably would have gone with the blue one. So already done some of the boring stuff, which is split each one of my pages here because I like to have the vertical layout. And then I created this little um, monthly section. I used my Silhouette Studio, created this, so that way I can just go in and change the month and the year whenever I want to. And I have it set perfectly to the size of the inside of my little planner here. So I'm going to trim this guy down. I print it out on vellum. I just really like the way it looks and then the vellum also helps the really pretty pages behind it kind of show through. So all of that gorgeous Coco Daisy artwork you can see right through the vellum. I'm going to attach that and what happened was I didn't realize my uh, camera wasn't plugged in so the battery died. So you missed me putting this all together but I'll tell you what I used. So I just attached the vellum down to the page using some double-sided tape. And then I just used some various items from mostly what I used was the um, Hobonichi kit. So I, I put some of the dates at the top, used some of the washi and the little um, sparkly dots that we got. Now for the inside, this is really fast. I want to save the cute days of the week for the week of February. So I'm going to start off by just using the straight days of the week that come in your kit. And then for the week of um, Valentine's Day I'm going to use these heart with the days of the week in it. Usually lately they've been sending two cute setups for the days of the week but this this time there was only one in here. And then for my cover for my dory I'm going to use this beautiful blue floral paper and all I do is I don't even cut it down. It fits perfectly over the top. All I do is kind of score. I'm going to use my little score thing here and I just kind of measure it out to where it fits perfectly over the top of the cover. So it's kind of evenly scored around the sides. And then I place my cover inside. Then I will score the back and do the same exact thing. And I just put the cover together that way. So once I've got it kind of situated, you kind of have to mess around with it a little bit just so that you make sure you don't have like a ton of extra space sticking out on the side so just kind of go back and forth until you get it right exactly where you want it and then I'm going to take some tape a little bit of double-sided tape and just to hold down the covers to the top so that way it doesn't slide around sorry my dog is <laughs> I'm trying to do this and my dog is crying in the background so once that's done we're going to start working on the cover itself so I want to kind of decorate using the printables so these are free get these from Coco Daisy. You can download them from the download section on the Coco Daisy website. And I'm also going to use some of the cards, which some of them come in the kit and some of them are free. I just trimmed them out from the free pages. And then I'm going to use my double-sided tape and I'm just going to start decorating the cover. I'm not going to do as much this month as I did last month because I think this is just such, the colors are so beautiful. It doesn't need a whole lot to make it just like pop. So I put the really pretty card on the front and I'm going to use some of the um, what do you call these die cuts? Yep, that's the word. I'm going to use some of the die cuts to decorate the front. So I'm just kind of going through and figuring out which ones I think will look best. And then I'm also going to use those gorgeous sparkly dots that we get, which like I've said before, I hope she never stops. I love those things. I hope she never takes those away. And I'm just going to pull off the sticky stuff off the back and then put down my sparkly dots. I don't even know what to call them. Sparkly dots is good. And that's it for the cover. Then on the inside, I'm going to make the pockets. So the pockets are so simple and they come in really handy because it's a great place for you to put um, the smaller uh, stickers, sticker sheets that come. So I'm going to make a three inch pocket, but you can make it any size that you want as long as it kind of covers that flap in the top. But it's a really good place for you to put like your sticky dots, your glittery dots can go in there, your smaller sticker sheets can go in there. And it's, a good, it's just a good place to, to hide some of the smaller things on the inside so that they don't get lost. I make a pocket for the front and a pocket from the back. And then I'll show you all you have to do for the pockets, super simple. Put tape on three sides and attach it and that's it it's already sized you don't even need to really cut it down um, lengthwise you just have to make sure that like i said i use it i cut it at three inches so that i have a three inch pocket and all of my stuff fits perfectly in there and that's 
I do this every month exactly the same way. So I'll just remove the adhesive covering, put it on, just line it up, and then you're good. And you've got a pocket in the front. I will do the same thing in the back. And then, like I said, it's a great place to store your extra stickers, your little sticker sheets. The big ones aren't going to fit in there, but the little ones definitely do. And then that is it for the planner itself. Then we're going to start working on some of the interior parts. So I make my own inserts for the inside. Um, I made it using a fuse tool and those sheets that you get when you buy a planner, not a planner, um, a photo album. And then I just basically take the sheets and decide what size I need. And then I use my fuse tool to make pockets out of the planner, not the planner. I keep saying planner, the photo album sheets in the photo album. So that plastic, it's just the right thickness to be able to use the, the fuse tool and everything isn't going to rip or fall apart. You can use page covers. Some people use page covers like from Staples or whatever, but I like using the photo album um, sheets like the 12 by 12 size and then cutting them down or fusing them to the size that I need because it's just a little bit thicker material, plastic material, and it seems to hold better. It's it's really um, a much better, and you can buy them separate. You don't have to buy a whole photo album in order to get the pockets. You can buy refills for photo albums. You just buy the refills, usually really cheap. Get them at like Michael's or Joann's, and you can even use a coupon, so you get them for really cheap. Now I'm just going to be filling up all of my little pockets here with some of the goodies from the kit and the free stuff that you can download. And the way that I laid out my pockets is I like to be able to use, I don't really have anywhere in my planner to use the vellum and the acetate, but I really love the way they look. So I try to find ways to utilize the vellum and the acetate. So I've made little strips and you'll see it here when I start putting the vellum pieces and the acetate pieces that I cut down and I put them inside of the smaller strips. So that way I can still have them, but they're not just out where they're, you know, I don't know. I don't really have anywhere set up for them. So I'm going to take the larger journaling card and I'm going to attach it to that front page. And then I'm going to use again some of the die cuts to decorate more of my glittery sticky dots because I love them. Place them all around and then put that right in the front. So when I open up my backside after the planner, this is the first thing I'm going to see. And then I have some of my goodies. So personalizing, always, always personalize everything. I love my little baby Yoda and some of the other things that I get from some of the shops that I absolutely love, I put in there. And then now we're going to work on the acetate and the vellum. So there's the vellum and I've cut it down to fit into this um, skinny area that I created with my fuse tool and then just trim off the top. And then the smaller ones, Little sections will have the acetate. So I'm just going to trim it down. I'm using my little tiny tonic trimmer. It's a perfect little desk size trimmer. And then put the other one at the top and trim that down. And then I have the real pretty acetate and the vellum also inside of my little setup here. Super pretty. Try if I sound rushed. I'm try I was supposed to get this up last week, but my husband bought me a new computer and then I've been struggling with iMovie and them not being compatible with each other. It's all a big mess, but I'm gonna get through it one way or another and get these videos up for you. A little late, but better late than never. I'm just gonna finish filling my pockets, trim some stuff down. Every once in a while I have to trim to fit some of the printables. Because they uh, for some reason they're a little bit bigger than my pockets. And then that's it. I'm going to place that inside my planner right behind my journaling section. The other one in there, I actually, you can see it from here, that back page. That's a pre-made one that I picked up at Joann's and it's in the little planner section at Joann's, at my Joann's. I don't know if every Joann's carries them, but um, it has just, it's almost like credit card size or um, like wallet picture size. I don't know how to explain it, but they're not really big enough for the big journaling cards to go into. So you have to kind of, if you're willing to trim them down small enough, it's a nice alternative. But I use that, if if I haven't shown it before, I use that for um, the freebies. So if you're a big sticker fan like I am and you have a lot of places that you buy from, 
you get a lot of freebie sheets and so that's where I store all of my freebie sheets. Now for the fun part we're going to decorate the pockets and I need Simon to be out front. So I have a bunch of these clear pockets and this one just happens to fit perfectly the size of the pockets on the inside of the Carpe Diem. So I'm going to trim it down to be just as tall as that first pocket. And I'm going to place it on there. And I'm not going to tell you that it's not going to ruin your planner, so don't. I haven't had it ruin mine, but other people have had it. Like with the cheaper planner covers, it will, just, it will pull your fabric. So um, don't do this <laughs> if you're worried about ruining the inside of your planner. Don't stick anything tape related to it. But um, I'm not worried about it because I probably won't remove it. It'll probably stay there. And now I'm just going to decorate. But you see how now Simon is out front where you can see him and I don't have to have him covered up by half of that pocket. I'm just going to add all of the little extras that come in the kit along with one of my favorites, that, that little felty up on the top. His name is Kosa, and he is from one of the shops that I love to order from. Put my notepad, my pen, and then I'm kind of messing around trying to see if some of the other things that I have sitting in that little container above will fit. That did not. I just could not make it work. However, that little dog is from last February's Coco Daisy kit. And then off to the side in that little bow there, bowl, I have some bows and some um, rose gold clips that I'm going to use. Then I've got my daisy clip that I got from Coco Daisy. Here's a few bows that I thought and a little flower that I thought would match. And some of the rose gold clips. So that one's a heart. I also have a little camera. And these I picked up at, I want to say Tuesday morning. They were in the um, little planner section at Tuesday morning. And they were like in a, a in a little desk set. So there was a bunch. There was, like, there was some gold, some silver, and some rose gold. And these are all the rose gold clips. And I think they just look really cute. And that's it. This is everything. So it's all set up, ready to go. Sorry this took so long to get it up. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching. I'm just going to add a couple more extras. And then we are done putting together my setup for February. You guys have a fabulous week, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.